about 17 years old, um, you know, all of a sudden peer pressure, you know, builds up, and then you find that you have to conform to society's need of what beauty is. And uh, being chubby was definitely not an idea of beauty to me. So I, I decided to go on a crash diet, and um, basically I developed anorexia. By the end of uh, the, by the end of a year of doing crash diet and crazy exercises, I lost over 20 kilograms and I was 37 kg at my lightest. And that was a turning point for me because the doctor told me two more kg and you will die. So I had to decide at a point in time if I wanted to continue this road of self-destruction or basically to turn my life around and recover uh, from that. I was uh, learning a skill that was, you know, helping me to become a more resilient person, uh, to become a more confident person, and more importantly, I was saying that I can actually do something to help people. So I started looking at life in a different perspective. I started looking at life that I can do something to help other people rather than looking at myself and saying, what can I do to make myself look better, all right, either by, you know, dieting or exercising and crazy. So, it became more from a self-centered viewpoint to a more, I would say, altruistic view viewpoint. So I think um, the struggles of uh, me overcoming anorexia and the, the process of rebuilding myself through martial arts is something that I think has been a very major transformation for me. Um, and it's also a shout out to other ladies who do have body image issues, um, you know, that you don't, you shouldn't, you know, keep judging yourself based on your appearance, you know, uh, look at something else that you can do, you know, especially giving back to society. Something that is very meaningful and you will find much more pleasure than just looking at how pretty you can be. Yeah. Thank you.